and honor among all people. Let us therefore remember that God has established and sanctified marriage for the welfare and happiness of the human family. For this reason our Savior has declared that a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. By his apostles he has instructed that those who enter into this relationship cherish a mutual esteem and love, to share in each other's infirmities and weaknesses, to comfort each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow, to provide for each other and for their household, to pray for and encourage each other, and to live together as heirs of the grace of life. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, your presence is the joy of every occasion, and your favor hallows every relationship. Be especially present and gracious to these two people, we pray, that they may truly be joined in one, in one with your blessing. As you brought them together in your providence, sanctify them with your Holy Spirit, giving them a new mind and heart for their life together. And grant to them now and always the promise of your guidance and support through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. A short scripture reading from 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 to 8. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself and is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own and is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. My words for you, Kyle and Dottie, is this. It says it's not easily provoked. Love is not easily angered. Now, I'm sure there are times when you might be a little miffed at Kyle, but it says not easily. And the same to you, Kyle. I'm sure there are times when Dottie might irk you a bit, but it says love is not easily angered. So that is my charge to you, and I think the charge of this uh, passage of Scripture. Kyle, will you have this woman to be your wife, and will you give yourself to her in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her as long as you both shall live? And if so, answer, I will. I will. Dottie, will you take this man to be your husband, and will you give yourself to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him as both yes, as you long shall live. If so, answer, I will. I will. Okay. Now you've each got each other by the hand. <laughs> That's good. Okay, Kyle, would you repeat after me? I, Kyle, take you, Dottie. I, Kyle, take you, Dottie. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. Dottie, repeat after me. I, Dottie, take you, Kyle. I, Dottie, take you, Kyle. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. Plenty and in one. And plenty and in one. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Okay. Now the ring.
a prey. Let the Lord this ring that he who gives it and she who wears it may abide in your peace and continue in your favor until our life ends. Okay, take this ring, trial, and as you put it on Dottie's finger, repeat after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, can you help me with this one too? Your ring. Can you help me, Johnny? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pray. Again, O oh Lord, we pray that you would bless this ring, that she who gives it and he who wears it may abide in your peace and continue your favor until their life ends. And Johnny, take this ring, and as you put this on Kyle's finger, repeat after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we have candle ceremony. Are we going to move this? Or are we going to leave it here? Just leave it there? That's all we got. Kyle and Dottie, you've exchanged vows and rings expressing your desire to be united as one in a Christ-honoring marriage. Jesus Christ, who caused light to shine out of darkness at the beginning of creation, also made this claim. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. As you enter marriage, may the light of his presence in your life and his works through you be seen as a light in the darkness. May that truth be reflected as you now take flames from two separate candles and blend them into the one center candle. May the Lord unite you with one faith, one hope, one love. May you, Kyle and Dottie, be one in name and one in commitment to the one and only true God, our Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. So, you can light that center one now. No, yeah. Kyle, you take the two candles together. on the outside. Oh, you you get a candle. One. You got to kind of put your head underneath there too so we can yeah. get you. Yeah, all up in the outside. Put yourself on fire. <laughs> and then you extinguish the other two and just blow them out. Yeah. Yay. For the first thing. Yeah. Here, let's step back to the front. <coughs> now, by the authority committed to me as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, I now declare that Kyle and Dottie are husband and wife, according to the ordinance of God and the laws of this state. In the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, both now and in the life everlasting. Amen. Now, you may kiss your bride. Don't stop. Oh, right. Okay. 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 Oh, right. Okay.
He was watching it happen, you know? He's most mad to hear. But you're like a cowgirl. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 